Lady, you know the rules. Give me a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. The moment has come for Michaela Mayer to do something great in the ring. She's already a world champion, but she wants a career-defining moment, and she believes that Maiva Amadouche, the IBF champ, can provide that moment for her. Skills pay the bills, but the, relentless, the relentlessness of Maiva Amadouche will put her to the test. And here they are in the center of the ring, and Veneno comes out swinging, but so does Michaela Mayer. That's the respect right there. Michaela Mayer stepping in right now, trying to get some respect from Amadouche. Coming right at her. Two minute rounds scheduled for 10 rounds as the female championship rubric. So here we are. As Amadouche may be a little surprised by the courage that Michaela Mayer is displaying and going right after her in the center of the ring. Yeah, Amadouche is used to opponents moving away and having that deer in the head like look when she comes forward. That's not the case right now for Michaela Mayer. She said this fight will be about two things discipline and conditioning. I've got both. On top of that, I got a great corner. Here comes Amadouche trying to walk her down. One of the things that Amadouche's opponents have to do, and Michaela Mayer has to do tonight with all this pressure, is maintain her composure. You can still fight, you can still fight down and get your respect, but you gotta maintain your composure. The right hand of Michaela Mayer finding a home, but here you see the quick combinations of Maeva Amadouche who lands a nice left hook on the chin of Michaela Mayer and pulls her down. See, that's veteran tactics right there. That's how you weaken a fighter's legs, by pulling their head down forcing them to use their legs. Michaela Mayer is leaning in and Amadouche is trying to tee off. There you see the quick hands of Amadouche. <laughs> Don't pull her down. He said Amadouche uses every second of every round and those two minutes flew by. Let her out, let her out. Let her out, make it time! All right. Tim, it was a great start for Michaela Mayer meeting Amadouche in the center of the ring, but it was the winging left hooks of Amadouche that probably was the most damaging shot. Yeah, that's her money shot right there. You see her head down. She fights from any position. That's one thing that Terrence Bud Crawford's going to have to watch against a fighter like Sean Porter. Even though when he's out of position, the hooks are coming over the top. Nice head butt right there. Both girls are being aggressive, you know. Michaela Mayer, she leans in when she's being attacked. So, and then you got Amadouche that comes in very aggressive. So their heads are right on line. Forehead clash. Amadouche is standing up in the corner as she receives instructions from Nasser Lalui. She's tough. Amadouche is tough. Michaela Mayer is going to have to dig very deep tonight. Watch the back of the head, okay? Let's go. Michaela, watch your head coming in. Watch your head. Hey, what do you say we meet in the center of the ring and do it all over again? Break, See? Break, break, break. Let's see for the break. Box. I'm a douche through 83 punches in that first round compared to 46 from Michaela. Landed 22 to 13, and here they are. Rock them, sock them, robots. Female This is the edition. fight that Amadouche wants right now. And Al Mitchell, the coach of Michaela Mayer, he wants her to fight in spots. So she's got to know when to break away from that fight and start using that long jab and use those long punches to keep the shorter on Amadouche at the end. Amadouche knows what she's doing with that double left hook and then her Ooh. overhand right that she lands once again here in round number two. Box. But Bernardo, it's a hard skill to know how to fight and then box and fight and box. No, you start it. to get into a rhythm of fighting, and then you find yourself in a fight like this every single round. And right now, it doesn't seem like Michaela Mayer can pull away from the fight and actually start boxing. She can't. Because anytime Michaela Mayer steps back, Amadou steps in deep. She's going to lose a point right now because she keeps bringing the head down on Michaela Mayer. Man. We knew what Hamadouche was going to bring, and Michaela Mayer finding out that that right hand is going to continue to land if she does not stop leaning forward. Oh. That right uppercut from Hamadouche doing damage here in round two. 
Just sheer volume and pressure and toughness. That's how Amadouche pays the bills. That's it right there. Body work, body work by both girls. Both girls trying to weaken one another. And Kayla told us in the fighter meetings, when she digs down, I've got to dig down even harder. There's an overhand right from distance from Michaela Mayer. Ooh, that body shot hurt on Madouche. She stepped back just for a minute to catch a breather. That's perfect is what they're telling us. Okay, them. listen to me. With our leg, after you punch him, you step him back. Bump him, push him back. Okay, step up with your front leg. But get off, drill him two shots. And you're not using your face. All right. I know. <laughs> you see, Amadou's doing what Amadou's does. Closing the distance and ripping shots. She's not trying to hit anything in particular. She just wants to hit anything. Arms, body, legs, chin. But then you see Michaela Mayer doing what she does best. Dig to that body and land those two good shots right there to the solar plex of Amadou. Okay. The ref, Mike Ortega, came over to Amadouche's corner and warned them Watch for the holding. There's already been two Watch. warnings, Tim. You mentioned it. And she can ill afford to lose a point. And Maiva Amadouche. I know the ref is trying to set the tone, but I just hope he lets these young ladies fight and he doesn't interject himself so much. Ooh, nice left uppercut from Maiva Amadouche. It looked like Michaela was using her legs better at the start of round three. It's the presence of Amadou. She won't let you breathe. She won't let you think. Right now, Mayer's trying to think. She's trying to remember. What did Al say? What's the game plan? But she doesn't have a second to breathe, so she goes back to what she knows, fighting back. I'll tell you what Al said. He says, keep your head out of the center and box. Easier said than done. That left hook to the body is finding a home. Oh, oh nice big right hand, hand there from Michaela Mayer. But Amadou has no quit in her. She keeps coming back with more. Hey, watch your heads, watch your heads. It's going to be a battle of attrition right here. Michaela definitely has more skills, but Amadouche is not allowing her to use the skills. She's crowding her, swarming her. Even when Amadouche isn't doing anything, she looks like she's doing something. It's the sheer presence Ooh, bouncing up, up and down, coming forward. Amadouche once again lands that left hook. She's found a home for it. Mayor taking it well so far, but how many of those can Michaela continue to take? from a relentless Maiva Amadouche. Well, Amadouche left hook is her bread, her bread and butter. That's how she knocks out most of her opponents, by going down to the body and weakening with the left hook. Michaela gotta be careful throwing the one, two, three, because she does not want to hook with a strong puncher. With the oh, left big hand. left hook now from Michaela Mayer. Equalizes the situation here, lands another left to the jaw of Maiva Amadouche as round number three is coming to an end. Uh -huh. CompuBox better be on their toes tonight because these girls are throwing <laughs> down. Time. Wow. That's yes, they are. They close inside and phone booth type of fight. Beautiful uppercut right there by Mayor. Seeing the head come forward from Amadouche. Beautiful right hand and left hook right there. As you can see, Michaela was right in the middle of throwing her her favorite combination, the one, two, three, and she dropped her right hand in the process and was hit with the with the left hook from Amadou. Right, come on. Okay, of course. In French, relentless is said. Sans the launch. And that's exactly what Maiva Amadouche is. Relentless. Michaela Mayer proving that she too can be relentless as she catches Amadouche with beautiful hooks as she's coming in. Don't push down on the back of her head. Don't push down. Let's go. Oh. My goodness, what a body shot from Maiva Amadouche. Watch your head, watch your head coming in. There's a short right hand by Michaela Mayer. Short uppercut as well from the American. Right, let her out. Step back, step back, box. Eddie Hearn, a lot harder right. let her out, let her for out. an opponent like right. Amadou, who just let fights break, one break. way, Let's go box. to switch it up and then go back to boxing and then go back to fighting. It keeps her off balance and it keeps her 
guessing and she doesn't know what you're going to do. But again, it's been hard for Mayer to switch up and go to boxing because she started the fight actually fighting. Nice right uppercut again right, from right, Michaela Mayer. What I wanted to say was Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum in the house. When Matchroom and Top Rank get together on a fight, we get magic like tonight. That's what Amadouche's instructions were. Do not give Mayer time to think. Well, Michaela Mayer is thinking with that left hook as she lands it once again with Amadouche's hands coming down because apparently Michaela Mayer making her fight now. Michaela Mayer now stands, starting to see things in slow motion in there. I can tell she's patient and calm in the inside. Ooh, what about the uppercuts? Michaela Mayer lands a beautiful left uppercut. Amadouche comes back with a shot of her own, but has to take more fire in exchange. What a body shot from Mayer. Close, close rounds. All three rounds, very close. Excuse me, all four rounds. Ooh, good body ah. shot from Amadouche. Discouraged. She starts hard and ends hard. And I no matter what happens, there's no way I'm not going to shine because I'm going to use all my tools and the style of Amadouche will bring out the best in me. So far, all of that is true. And the last time Amadouche lost was in 2015 against Delphine Persoon. And she had a similar build to Mayer and fought with a similar style. So Mayer right, needs right. to also box. She can't just fight because that's Amadouche's style. That's what she does best. Mix it up. Just like Coach Al Mitchell said. Mayor needs to keep that left, that right hand up, because that left hook is finding a home continuously. Oh, head but straight up by go both in the center of the ring. Neither the worst for wear. Nice right hand from Michaela Mayer. She said one of the keys will be not to overthrow that right hand above the head of Amadouche. I just spoke to Mark Mayer, Michaela's dad. I said, how can you watch this? It's your daughter. He goes, what, are you kidding me? I love it. <laughs> Michaela loves to fight like this. Nice little step out right there and catching Amadou as she's coming in. She's setting up Amadou for the right hand and making her miss here in round Ooh. number five. And Michaela can't miss with the right. That's the outside fighting we're talking about. That's the boxing she needs to mix in to the fighting, not just the fight. Nice uppercut right there from Michaela. Out at distance, perfect timing. Amadou's trying to rush in. Bow, better with an uppercut. A lot of close rounds here, and Andre Ward's scorecard favoring Amadou three to one so far. Ooh, nice hook. That could easily be two, two, Bernardo, easily. Yes, I agree, that's how I have it so far. And this is a brawl. This is the type of fight you can watch time and time again. Trilogy, if you ask me. Amadouche just keeps coming. I think all four rounds were swing rounds, including yes. this one. <laughs> Could have went either way. All-star corner from Michaela Mayer with Al Mitchell, Kekaroma, and Manny Robles. Fantastic corner. You know, you can see her slowly making adjustments. When she gets outside, Michaela, she has some beautiful work with her combinations, as you can see. Yes, that right hand is once again doing damage on Maiva Amadouche. Total punch has landed to the body. 41 against only four for Amadouche. Who tends see to Mayer be a trying body to break punch. out of that. Yeah, you see Mayer trying to break out of that fighting and trying to actually implement the boxing. She did that last round, and she probably had her best round, even though Amadouche was still in the round. That's what Mayer needs to do. She needs to box more than she fights. But that's how you create separation right there with the boxing from the outside. But anytime she sits still, you see Amadouche come on strong. So she has to, like I said, it's going to be a battle. Mental right, toughness. Right. Oh, nice left hook once again from Michaela Mayer. Catches Amadouche coming in. But there's no let up in Amadouche. But Mayer can also show the judges she's in control when she lands those twos and threes and takes Ooh. that walk like that and creates some separation where Amadouche Ooh. can't get her shots back, then that's when she can score those points, but Amadouche just won't let her rest. Amadouche just landed a three-piece, and now Michaela Mayer breathing hard, digging deep, I'm, I'm and landing combinations. Listen to me, I'll let you know, Michaela Mayer is comfortable inside that pocket right now. Trust me on this. She's landing vicious body shots down to Amadouche. Oh. There's a nice right hand from Michaela Mayer, but here comes the answer from Maiva Amadouche. 
If you're Amadeus, just keep digging. Keep chopping, keep digging, keep fighting, keep throwing shots, keep ripping to the body. She just has to keep doing what she's doing. She's got one style. She's perfected that style. Amadeus told us, I think her mental strength and maintaining distance, her weakness is that she takes too many shots in the fight and that can make her vulnerable. You'll see. Ooh, get that distance. Beautiful shot right there. Combination. One, two, three. What a fight. My goodness. The fight. And now it'll be Matchroom promoting that fight in New York. Well, we have a great fight tonight. Mayor Amadouche looking to unify the IBF junior lightweight titles. And Dre, the judges have a heck of a job to, to do tonight. It's a very difficult fight to score. I have it even going into the seventh round. Each and every round was a swing round, meaning it could have gone either way. One fighter will land one or two shots at the end or a good tailing shot like a body Ooh. shot. A good shot right there on cue for Michaela Mayer that will give them the round. Listening to Al Mitchell is going to be the key for Michaela Mayer down the stretch. Nice left hook there for Michaela. But you see how Amadou has to run after her and she misses shots down. and she can't get the shot back. That's what Michaela needs to do more of. Box more than you fight. And I know it's easier said than done because of the she body has been presence listening of Amadouche. to Al Mitchell. He's been telling her for years, you finish with hooks to the body, and she's been doing it all night. But she's got a Maiva Amadouche who can take a shot, as she just does there with that double right uppercut from Michaela Mayer. Comes back with shots of her own. What a firefight Mayer and Amadouche are delivering tonight. How can you not Amadou love women's boxing? Yeah, Amadou's is throwing more flurries. She's not really concerned where she lands. And Mayer is placing her shots more to the body and to the head. Dre, she, she's in the zone right now. I'm letting you know right now. She's weathering the storm. She, she's controlled in all this chaos right now. She's looking comfortable. And I'm talking about Michaela Mayer. She's placing her shots just as you said. Don't be surprised if Amadou's goes down from one of those body shots. Ava Amadouche, really deep, nice right hand once again from Michaela Mayer. That is her money shot, the big right from Mayer as round number seven comes to an end. Something she really cares about. She disregards defense because offense is Maiva Amadouche's defense. She says, I love the Mexican style. That's why my nickname is Veneno, Poison. Nobody wants to fight me, and we can see why. Listen, listen, listen Amadouche, the type of mentality she has, she said, in her bio that I was looking for a legal way, a legal <laughs> solution to fight. That's the kind of mentality that Amadouche has. This is just the last round power punches. 23 of 78 landed for Amadouche, 24 of 54. Higher percentage and doing damage was Michaela Mayer. That's just one round, guys. We're already at over a thousand punches. Ooh thrown in two minute rounds after seven. I'm a nice left hook from I'm, Michaela. I don't know who's gonna win this match, but I can tell you one thing about Michaela right now. She okay. is gone okay. to another level already inside this ring. She's found out more about herself in the, what round are we in? Eight rounds in her whole entire career. And she's finding out that Amadouche's head does not move unless you move it with your fist. And that's exactly what she's doing here in round number eight, but guess what? Here comes Maiva Amadouche. Amadouche is coming back, but Michaela Mayer's shots are more telling, crispier, and they're landing heavier. And you see the bump by her and that body work. The body work was the key. Amadouche is slowed down drastically. She don't have the power that she had in the first oh, and beginning of the round. Michaela Mayer does. First the left hook, follows it up with an overhand right, and here comes more from Michaela Mayer. She's strumming Amadouche's chin like a guitar. Yes, she is. <laughs> and Amadouche keeps on coming, yes, but Mayer so. is showing that she's separating herself ever so slightly from Amadouche. Amadouche is the big power puncher. 18 knockouts and 22 wins. Michaela just has 5 and 15. But guess what? When it comes to grit, when it comes to stamina, when it comes to heart, they're neck and neck. <laughs> Only 32 of those combined are jabs. And here comes Maiva Amadouche so far. This is the total, over 1,100 punches thrown. 
But Kalat, 40% accuracy. Just look at the control in the inside. Look at the control in the inside by Michaela. Amadou's just swinging, trying to land anywhere. But let's look at the control and the placement on her shots. And Mayer's also pushing back Amadou when she wants to, and she could do more of that to put her on her back foot to, to take away the leverage that Amadou has on the inside. Credit to Hamadou because she keeps coming with everything. Make credit to both the ladies because they both have taken big shots and have taken them well. You know what I'm getting credit to right now? Training in Colorado with Terrence Bud Crawford. That's where I'm giving credit to because she needs, she needs to be in this type of shape. Colorado Springs, that altitude training is no joke. Al Mitchell, K. Caroma, yelling instructions to Michaela Mayer. They want Mayer to push her back, Amadou's back, take away the leverage. Mm. Then land your own shots. That also wears an opponent down. Disrupt the rhythm. Push them too. back, especially, especially, yes, especially late in a fight like this. This is a star making performance. Mayer and Amadou demanding, not asking, demanding the best Ooh. of their opponent to just stand and trade here through nine rounds. Nice left from Eva Amadou. What a fight. These women are delivering on their promise of a war. Tim, referee Mike Ortega comes over to her corner and says, she can't take this much punishment. It's a war. Let him fight. Hey, that's right. Let she's giving fight. as much as she's taking. Man, the ref needs to get out the way. Get man. out the way. Finish strong the way they're trying to finish strong right now. Move, Stay out the ref, way. Get out the way. <laughs> there you see the right hand from Michaela Mayer. Maiva has a right hand of her own, and they're both trading rights and lefts here with a minute and a half left in round 10. What courage, what guts Michaela Mayer and Maiva Amadouche have shown. What skill. Got to have Mayer up, but neither fighter knows that. Oh. And good right hand right there for Mayer. They both have to fight like this fight is on the line right now because it is. Absolutely. Well said. There's a left hook from Michaela Mayer. Stops on Medusa in her tracks, and here comes another. Ooh. Good right hand from Amadouche. You talk about stopping someone's offense. That's what Amadouche did. But here comes Mayer. She sets up a nice left uppercut. Both fighters take a second to take a deep breath and say, We got 40 seconds left. Let's give our all. Half a minute left. Both women will give you everything they have, and there's nothing better than mm. just letting me allow you to hear these punches land. If you have anything negative to say about female boxing, do yourself a favor. Watch this fight again. Michaela Mayer and Maiva Amadouche gave their all tonight. Two fighters with a ton of heart, two fighters who are skilled, and two fighters who are willing to give their all inside the ring, Tim. <laughs> Just put it this way, I'm a fan. I'm a fan <laughs> of beating these women tonight. Trust me, you know. Michaela graduated today. She just graduated tonight to a master inside the ring. Let me tell you why. She couldn't box on the outside. She has the longer arm. She took it in the inside. She used tactics that you don't see. You know, great corner, Al Mitchell, bumping, tying up at times, stepping back, getting distance, working her combinations at, at times, landing the beautiful right hands. She took some shots as well, killing back, got calm and stayed calm in there. Fantastic performance by both women tonight, but extremely fantastic performance by Michaela Mayer. See the pride yeah, in the corner. Much respect. 
Yeah, much respect to both these ladies. We knew what Maiva Amadouche was going to bring. We knew. We knew she was coming all gas and no brakes. But we had questions about Mayer in terms of, okay, how is she going to respond? <laughs> Can she also bite down? Can she return fire with fire? She did that and more tonight. These ladies put on a tremendous performance. I have Michaela, win Michaela Mayer winning this fight. She definitely graduated, and I think she should be in position to win her second belt. She landed a ton of punches. They landed a ton of punches on one another. Almost 500 punches landed between the two. It was an impressive offensive performance between these wonderful exponents of the art of boxing, the art of war tonight, because that's what Maiva Amadouche, the French woman, brought tonight. 97-93 on Andre's scorecard. Andre it was a second half fight for Mayer, who usually starts slow, got off to a quick start, but Amadouche was there, and it was late where she really came on. She dominated the second half of this fight, and that's when it matters the most. When, you, when you're in a close fight and the first three or four rounds are close, who's gonna pull ahead? Michaela Mayer found something deep down inside that caused her to pull ahead, but she also thought, she thought her way through the second half of that fight. You saw more boxing, more picking and poking, more skill work, then she went back to fighting. And I think, I know she got the better of it in the back half of that fight. It was an impressive performance from both of these ladies. And it's just stunning to see the face of Michaela Mayer Absolutely <laughs> joyful, but you can tell what she's been through. And Maiva Amadouche, the same thing. She's raising her hand because she believes that she came to the United States and won the fight. That remains to be seen, but the judges will have the final say. Mike is ready. Mike Markham with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go the scheduled distance after 10 scintillating rounds between two world-class pugilists. We go to the judges' scorecards for the verdict. Tim Cheatham scores it 98-92. Max DeLuca scores it 99-91. Lisa Giampa scores this bout 190. In favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now, IBF, WBO, and Ring Magazine, Junior Lightweight World Champion, Michaela Mayer. All right, the right person won. Michaela Mayer, 97, 93, 96, uh, 92 if you want, but a shutout. And 99, 91, 98, 92. This fight deserved better scorecards. This fight, after what Michaela Mayer and Maiva Amadouche gave us in the ring, deserved for the judges to do their job properly.